In this video, I'll show you how to create a gauge UI with needles, labels, and a nice speed indicator. I'll show you how I create the UI elements using Figma, then use Squareline Studio to create LVGL elements, and finally, how to pass the data to the UI elements. If you like this video, consider supporting by liking, commenting, and sharing. Every bit of support helps. I use a reference image from hondawatch.com to design the UI. Open Figma, create a frame, and set the width to 320 pixels and the height to 170 pixels for the LilyGo T Display S3. Set the background color and draw rectangles as guides for placing UI elements. Use the pen tool to create a speed indicator bar. Set the stroke color and adjust the width as needed. Create another line for the needle. Then add an ellipse to mark the pivot point. Duplicate the needle to create a divider line. Use the Radium plugin to rotate the dividers. Set the rotation origin to the bottom and create 36 duplicates, rotating each by 10 degrees for every 10 speed value. Group the dividers and rename them for better organization and easier use later. Then scale and adjust the width as needed. Add the labels using the text tool. If needed, change the font and size in the typography tab. Double click on an element to enter edit mode, then adjust the anchor points as needed. Press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus D to duplicate the divider group, then right-click and outline the stroke. After that, select Union Selection and flatten to create a single element. Repeat the steps for the speed indicator. After that, select both the divider and speed indicator, then use Subtract Selection to remove the divider portion from the speed indicator. As mentioned earlier, double-click the newly created speed indicator to enter edit mode. Then select the anchor points in the unwanted areas and delete them. Duplicate and repeat the steps for the other indicators. Place the label in position, then adjust the font and size to match the UI. Using the same process, create more elements to make the UI look similar to the reference image.
To rotate the needle at the pivot point in Figma, it can be a bit tricky. So convert the ellipse to a component and place the needle element inside it. This way we can rotate the component and easily check if it's correct. Style the needle and other elements to match the desired look, adjusting colors, strokes, and effects as needed. Duplicate the needle and create a component as mentioned earlier. Then repeat the steps for the fuel gauge. Once everything looks good, export the UI elements as a PNG file. For the speed indicator, I plan to experiment with LVGL image sequences. I created 13 images to show a color change from green to red for every 10 speed value. You can check my previous video on how I created animated files with image sequences. The link is in the card.
I created the sequence by duplicating the frame, renaming it in sequence, and then deleting each block. Place the exported needle file in Figma and find the X and Y positions. We need this to set up the needle in the exact position in Squareline Studio. Also, make sure the needle width is an even number. Otherwise, slight differences may occur when setting up the pivot point in Squareline Studio. Open Squareline Studio, create a new project, and select the board. Check my previous video to learn how to add custom boards to Squareline Studio. The link is in the card. Copy all the exported elements from Figma to the asset folder of the newly created project. This includes the exported background, two needles, and 13 image sequences. Place the elements on the screen and give them proper names. This will help later in coding. Now place the needle in position. Select the needle and change a line top left, then set the X and Y values noticed from Figma. Otherwise, the needle won't work as per the UI. Then set the pivot value of each needle. In this case, the fuel needle has a width of five pixels, but Squareline Studio can't set two and five pixels. The pivot Y is the, is the height of the needle. Then test with the rotation value. If it doesn't rotate properly, make the needle width an even value in Figma and replace the current needle. Repeat the step for the speed needle. For the speed needle, pivot X is 6 divided by 2 equals 3 and pivot Y is the height of the needle, which is 145. For the speed indicator, Place images from the image sequence and create an animation. This will export all the image sequences and allow control through code for the speed value. To create an animation, go to the Animation tab, give the animation a name, and then select the test object. Select Image Frame Animation from the drop-down list. Set the end value to the last image sequence. Select the image set and press play to see the preview. Add a label to show the speed value and style it according to the design. Use an LCD style font to enhance the visual feel. If everything looks good, first export the template. Check my previous OBP video for more details. The link is in the card. Open the folder in VS Code. Platform IO will initialize automatically, then build and upload the code. The UI is ready. Now let's add some functions to make it work. I define two variables, data1 and data2. These values are used to animate the gauges. The interval1 and interval2 define the time intervals for updating the data. The update data function counts up and down within the predefined range. Data1 ranges up to 120 for the speed, and data2 ranges up to 100 for the fuel. The update UI function updates the data to the LVGL elements and animates the gauge. 
Use the map function to map the speed data, or 120, to the range of 9 is 800 to 400 to rotate the speed needle. At zero, the needle will be at minus 800 rotation, and at 120, it will be at 400 rotation. Map the speed to an image index to animate the speed indicator. The speed is mapped to 13 image sequences, and the corresponding index is passed to the LVGL elements to update the speed indicator. This updates the label displaying the speed value in the UI. This maps the gauge value to an angle and updates the gauge needle. Finally, the update data and update UI functions continuously update the values and the UI. If you like this video, consider supporting.